Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here. And in this tutorial, I want to quickly do a few little updates because uh, taking a look at our, our code right now with uh, the head of the way it is and the footer the way it is, I think we can almost mark off the fact that our footer is done so we could move this over. But there is actually one thing that I just want to fix uh, and it is kind of annoying me. I wasn't quite sure when I would be able to fit this into the series, um, but we need to fix the font weights here because if we take a look at this uh, in our design, obviously we're using a much lighter font weight and if we scroll down to the footer, we're also using a much, much lighter font weight. So uh, yeah, what I'd like to do here is obviously lighten my font and uh, the way I'm gonna do that, uh, I could do this with CSS, uh, my own custom CSS, but I actually wanna use the UI kit customizer. So hopefully um, you guys have kept that style.less file that I have available on Patreon. If you didn't, I'm gonna make this one available on Patreon for free for everyone to download. Uh, but let's go ahead and click open. Um, and that should load in my uh, imp, my my CSS or my less file. Right, so now my less file has been imported and there's a few settings that I'd like to change um, here in the customizer that will then be able to download the less file and download the CSS file again and uh, see those changes appear on the site as well. So uh, the first thing I wanna do is click the advanced uh, mode over here the next thing I'd like to do is, uh, I think there's a section for defaults or base. There we go, base is kind of our defaults. I wanna set the font weight of this to 100. So that should lighten pretty much all the fonts across the site. Um, so it has actually lightened a lot of these ones. Uh, it's even lightened the brand. The only problem is our navigation still isn't quite as light as I'd like it to be and our headers are still quite bold. So uh, for the uh, font weight and also under base, I'm just gonna change the heading font weight to, two, to 200, not 100. Uh, and that should uh, take effect on some of our headings. It should be these headings here. Uh, I'm also gonna say text transformation. We can actually set this to uppercase and that way all headings on our site should by default be uppercase. So there's a header uh, that is uppercase and the rest of them not so much. Uh, so I think another place we can change this is under article. Uh, we want the font weight of all of our articles to be 100. We want the text transformation to be none uh, unless it's actually a title. Yeah, sorry. So when it's the title, we want that to be uppercase and we actually want that to be 200. So that is one of our article titles. And this is pretty much what we're going for for the rest of our headers as well. Uh, so we just need to find out uh, where else we can change this. And one of the ones that we're gonna have to change is uh, navbar. So let's look for navbar uh, because this is our navigation here, right? So here's some navbar backgrounds, navbar animations, but that's all under dropdown. Let's keep going. Let's look for uh, navbar itself. Should be under, okay, so here's nav. And there we go, we now have navbar. So I'm gonna change the font weight of all of our navigations to be 100. And you can see that those are now lightened as well. Uh, we could probably increase our font size as well. Maybe if I click more. Um, font weight, now font size, there we go. Let's just make that 16 pixels. I think the default was 14, so 16 is just gonna make them that tiny bit bigger, um, which I quite like, just for the navigation. I, I only want that for the navigation, not for the whole site. Uh, and now we just need to try and find a few more of these headers. Uh, so I think one of those is going to be under panel so let's look for panel, uh, font, title font weight. We also want that to be 200. So that's gonna fix some of these. Um, title text transformation. We can also set that up to uppercase. So all of the headings on our website basically become uppercase. Um, 
And I think that this is actually article lead text. So let's look for article lead text up here. I'm gonna scroll all the way up to the top because article, basically all of these items here are in alphabetical order. So you know that if you're looking for article, it's gonna be near the top. If you're looking for nav bar, it's gonna be somewhere near the bottom. Uh, lead font weight, so let's change that to 100. Um, and so that kind of fixes that one. Maybe that could be 200. Yeah, okay, that's better. All right, I don't know if I'm gonna be using any lead article or paragraphs, but uh, if I do, that's kind of what it'll look like, right? And so now I think that my template has been set up much, much better. Uh, something that I still can't quite find is how to change the corners of these buttons. So I've gone and taken a look under B for button, um, and yeah, there isn't really a setting here to stop the corners from being rounded. I'm not sure why that is, because this should be border radius. So I think because I can't find that here in the customizer, I'm gonna use custom CSS to stop these, these buttons from rounding. Uh, but for now, I think, yeah, we've got uh, this, this uh, template set up exactly how I need it. So I'm gonna download the less file here and we can just save that as, well, I'm gonna save it as uh, uh, style updates or updated less and you guys can always download this for free on Patreon. I will leave a link in the description of this video. Just go ahead and uh, download that and you can import those exact same settings into the customizer if need be. And then I'm also just gonna minify this and get the CSS as well. And let's call this uh, UI kit custom theme.css. And I think I already have this once, but that's fine. I'm gonna replace that. So that's gonna download. And now I can take, uh, it's in my downloads, UI kit custom theme.css. Let me copy this, come back here, and let's paste that in, uh, where is it? It's in UI kit, CSS, and UI kit custom.css. So I wanna paste my new item uh, and just replace the old one, right? So now if I come back over to my web page and I refresh, or what I did was I hard refresh, so Command Shift R. If you're on Windows, uh, it'll be Control Shift R, I believe, and that'll just make sure that um, your browser gets rid of any old CSS files or old CSS rules and reloads everything afresh so you don't have any caching. Uh, and yeah, now I have um, my menu items pretty much how I wanted them to be. And I also have my footer uh, pretty much in the font weight I wanted it to be. So now everything's gonna be matching my design a lot, lot better. And I think uh, in the next tutorial, we'll move on to actually creating the slideshow for our homepage. So I'll see you guys in the next one. But before I end this video off, let me send a huge shout out to my current patrons. So the guys whose names are on screen now uh, contribute $5 or more every single month on Patreon. And that goes a long way to helping me make more videos for you guys more often. So if you like the videos I create and you wanna help me make more, consider becoming a patron. But if you cannot contribute financially, then please don't forget to just leave a like, subscribe, uh, hit the little bell notification so that you're always up to date with my videos and share my videos with your friends because that's gonna help my channel grow and I'll see you guys next time.